Zara is apologizing this morning for a shirt. The retailer says it was not meant to remind people of Nazi concentration camp uniforms. It's been pulled from Zara's inventory. Still some wonder how such a stylish brand could make such a huge fashion faux pas. Jan Crawford is at a Zara store in Washington with a possible answer. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. So Zara is based in Spain, but it operates more than 2,000 stores in 88 countries. The controversial shirt went on sale on its website in Europe and in Israel. Zara said this striped children's shirt, complete with a yellow sheriff's badge, was inspired by classic American westerns. But to many people, the badge looked like a Star of David and the shirt like uniforms worn by prisoners in Nazi concentration camps. Backlash online was swift with searing headlines, and Wednesday, Zara apologized, saying in a statement, the garment was available for just a few hours and sales of the T-shirts have been marginal. The items will be reliably destroyed. Although Zara did tell one website the shirts would be, quote, exterminated, Abby Klassen of Advertising Age said the company, by and large, took the right steps. Zara responded quickly, which, of course, is probably the number one most important thing they could do. Responded quickly with an apology. They apologized in several different languages. But it's been a rough summer for the retailer. Earlier this month, it was accused of racism after these photos surfaced of another one of its shirts, bearing the slogan, white is the new black. And in 2007, Azara apologized for selling handbags adorned with swastikas. The company said those symbols were not in the approved design. Klassen doubts any of these incidents were intentional, but says they can add up. It certainly doesn't help them that every time something like this comes out, it, it you know, drums up the memory of the last time they were in hot water. Other retailers have faced similar problems. H&M offended customers with this tank top showing a skull inside a Star of David. And this star emblazoned shirt from Urban Outfitters also drew comparisons to the badges forced on Jews in Nazi Germany. Like Zara, these companies are known as fast fashion retailers, able to take merchandise from the designer's table to store shelves all over the world in a short amount of time. Quality control issues can arise. You might do something in one part of the world that seems perfectly innocent or innocuous, but might be highly offensive in another part of the world. And that's the new global marketplace that marketers are having to get used to. Now, maybe thinking about that reality, Zara said in its statement that it was proud of its diverse workforce and that it rejected and condemned any form of discrimination. Vanita? Jen, thank you.